Hey, it is the beginning of the second week of classes in spring semester, and I'm already bored out of my mind. So that's great. I've been trying to come up with things to do, you know, things to keep me occupied, things to keep me busy. And something I love to do at home is cook and bake all of it, the whole, the whole shebang, the whole hubbub. But I am in a dorm, and therefore I don't have a kitchen. But my dorm basement has a kitchen some old raggedy dinged up kitchen. So I decided it would be fun one night to make dinner, but my challenge is that I have to make dinner using ingredients that I can get on campus. So things I can get from the convenience store or things I can steal from the dining hall. But I do need something to cook in. So that's where we're going right now. We're going to Target and I'm gonna get either a pot or a pan, I haven't decided yet, and some kind of spatula. Just so I have something, a basin to cook in. I don't even know what I'm making yet. So let's go to Target. So many people in here. Okay, haul. haul. First of many for this vlog, and I love to give a haul, so. Okay, first up I have the spatula that I got. It was only a dollar, so that's why it looks like it was only a dollar. And then finally, quick haul. This was the one I ended up going with. I needed something that was like a hybrid between like a frying pan and a pot. So I got a saute pan. <laughs> Sorry. He is judging this haul. Reveal. It's still zip tied shut, but took a little bit out of my wallet. I'm feeling like it's worth it. And I need you to tell me it was. So yeah. Anyways, stage one of this complete. Now we just have to get ingredients and then make it. But I'm not doing that today, unfortunately. But it'll be in about 10 seconds for you, so lucky you. I'm hey, it's now the next day. And I'm gonna talk to you really quick while I do my skincare routine. Also, sorry you're so low. Don't know what to do about that right now. Oh, that just went in my mouth. Oh. So did that one. Oh, that tastes so bad. Um, forehead reveal. Sorry, this is off to like a wild start. Anyways, oh, <laughs> it literally tastes so bad. I have to go pick up a textbook from the bookstore on campus and in that same building, there happens to be a convenience store. So I'm gonna do some of my grocery shopping for this dinner there. But yeah, sorry, I can't stop this right now just cause I have stuff on my hands. How you guys doing? How's everyone's day? Okay, let's go. Okay, so it's now the day after that day. And I just got back from stealing some food from the dining hall. Don't repeat that, okay? But I'm gonna give you a haul of everything I have. I'm gonna start off with what I got from the convenience store. I literally don't remember if I said what I was making, but I'm making a pasta with only things that I can get on campus. That's the name of the game. So first I have this pasta that I got. Not much more to say about that. I have this sauce. It was the only option, so that's what I got. And then I got a can of chickpeas to add to it. And then from the dining hall, this is what I got. I have this little collection here. Limes, of course. Lime juice has to go in the sauce. It's the best part. But I have spinach, onions, peppers, tomato, and mushrooms in here. This isn't from the dining hall, but I'm gonna be putting it in there. I have hot sauce. And then this part's technically cheating. I am sorry. You can't have a pasta without having a salad. So my dining hall has this kale Caesar salad. Although they made it with spinach and still called it kale Caesar salad. So they're effing liars. And some fruit. I'm actually gonna cut some of this up now, up here on my little cutting board. And we can chat about how this is, about how we're feeling about this. Cutting board reveal. Anyways, here's what I'm worried about. My qualms. Is that the right word? I don't even know if that's the right word. Or my quarrels. I don't know if that's the right word either. I'm just gonna leave it at my worries. My hands are clean, by the way. I promise this isn't gross. Worry number one, the kitchen itself. It's a pretty small, rundown, definitely has not been used in years kind of environment down there. And that could be limiting. Second, my resources are from a dining hall and convenience store. That is pretty alarming. And third, I'm not like a chef in any way. I love cooking, don't get me wrong, but cooking at home with plenty of resources, plenty of space goes fine, but I'm not the best at it then. So being in a smaller environment with weird ingredients and limited utensils, even I just have one pan, like this is gonna be so interesting, is definitely gonna make this meal something else. But I'm still excited. This looks good as 
AF. It would be good if I had some fresh garlic bread, but I don't. There's the extra spinach, but this is gonna be yum. I'm getting excited. I hope everyone else is. Don't though. Anyways, I'll update you guys when I start cooking. You'll get a kitchen reveal. Don't get excited for that either. Standing outside the kitchen, get ready for a kitchen reveal while I boil the noodles, cause that's gonna take a little bit. So hold on. See, it's like nothing crazy, but I'll give you a quick tour while I'm still waiting for this to boil. It's making really weird noises and I'm getting concerned, but I'm gonna give you the tour in 0.5. Okay, so you walk in the door, trash can, paper towels. What more could you ask? You come in and there's this little closet. We can't get in. It's a surprise closet. There's this window that lifts up to another room. We're not gonna open that. And there's these chairs if you wanna sit and eat. We're not eating in here. There's whatever that is. He's gonna be watching us the whole time. Then you come around to the sink. Pretty not good. There's a window as well, but gonna keep that closed. Microwave. And then stove and oven. Hood range. Hello. So I was just saying how I don't have any like spices or anything to put in this. But what I realized I did have was my favorite snack ever. Trader Joe's Takis. So I'm gonna do is crush these up super fine, saute it in with like the vegetables and the sauce, and we'll see how that is. But yeah, also this is a really good thumbnail. Hold on. There it is, the magic powder. Sorry, sorry. I'm still waiting for the water to boil. Okay, I'm gonna do a taste test of the pasta because supposedly, allegedly, it's al dente now. I just blew it onto the counter. Noodle reveal. Ow, it's hot. Actually, I think it is done. I don't have a strainer, so this is gonna be interesting. Okay, I have my pasta. And look at that. Oh, I just dropped another noodle. Another soldier down. Moment of silence for that soldier. Not the limes, not the limes. This literally smells so effing good. This is gonna be, this is gonna be so good. Sorry, I'm getting too excited. I'm gonna pour it all on top of the noodles. And then mix it. Okay, I'm gonna do a reveal and then I'm gonna plate it and do another reveal. You guys are spoiled without trying to spill it. Tell me that doesn't look good as F. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. Okay, let me plate it and then we'll do a final reveal. Look, literally, oh. This is the kale Caesar salad and then I have the pasta that I made. I'm like thrilled with the way this turned out. This is about to be so good. First bite, taste test and reveal. Okay, to be honest, it just tastes like spaghetti. And I think that's due to my lack of seasonings. You can definitely taste the Takis in there. And the lime juice and hot sauce is good. Regardless, this is good as F for a dorm meal that I cooked in a little basement kitchen. If you guys have a kitchen in your dorm, you should make something. Because not only is it good, but it was like fun to cook again. Anyways, highly recommend making a meal in your dorm if possible. And yeah, that's all I got for you right now. So yeah. Me and my dinner. Okay, good night. Thank you.